Hey there, I'm Ashley, and today we'll walk through how to integrate your Magento 2 store with Klaviyo. Magento 2 is an open source e-commerce platform where many businesses host their online storefronts. Integrating connects the two platforms, which ensures that your customer data from Magento 2 automatically enters into Klaviyo on an ongoing basis. You will then be able to visualize business performance and trends, populate dynamic content into your messages, like order history and abandoned carts, and create a more targeted marketing strategy in Klaviyo. At the end of the day, powerful analytics and meaningful messages translate into a higher return on investment as you grow your brand to its full potential. Let's get started. To begin, securely log into Magento 2 in Klaviyo within two tabs of your browser. You will also need to securely log into your Magento 2 server or have your IT administrator perform the installation steps. Open a command line tool and navigate to the root directory of your Magento app. From here, you'll use Composer to download the latest version of the Klaviyo extension from Packagist. Run the command shown here to download the latest version of the extension, or specify an extension version you wish to use. Next, we need to tell Magento to enable the extension we just downloaded. Run the command shown here to enable the extension. As prompted by the output, we must now enable any additional modules. Run the command shown here to enable them. Scan the output for Module Klaviyo Reclaim to confirm that the Klaviyo module is enabled and running. I see it here, so I know I'm good to proceed. Next, to ensure that the CSS and JavaScript on your Magento 2 store continue to work properly, you'll need to run a static content deploy command. Run the command shown here to finish the installation process. Once you've installed your Magento 2 store in Klaviyo, your next task is to configure your account. That said, before we return to configure the extension, head to your Klaviyo tab of your browser. Let's grab the six-digit public API key of your Klaviyo account. I'll copy it to my clipboard for the next step. Now, let's return to the Magento admin dashboard from our web browser, where we'll configure the Klaviyo extension in Magento. From the admin dashboard, open the stores tray and then click Configuration. From the Klaviyo config dropdown, click the General tab to access the Klaviyo specific settings. Set Enable Klaviyo Extension to Yes and paste in the public API key copied from your Klaviyo account. We're going to skip over Private API Key. This will be inserted automatically when we set up OAuth. Now let's enable OAuth authentication to securely connect your Klaviyo account to the Magento 2 extension. First, open the Setup OAuth tab. Give your integration a memorable name in the name field because you will need to locate it by this name later. I've named it Test. Click Save Config to make sure the name and configuration are saved. Next, locate System from the left-hand navigation pane and select Integrations from the System tray. Find the integration with the name we used above, Test, and click Activate. Activating the integration will open up a new window requesting you to approve access the plugin requires. Click Allow. In the pop-up window that appears, confirm your account name and ID are correct and click Integrate Magento 2. This will add the Magento 2 integration to the Klaviyo account associated with the public API key we copied earlier. If you are logged into multiple Klaviyo accounts and the correct account is not displaying, be sure to log out of any other sessions. If the window closes automatically, the connection was successful. You can also confirm by opening your Klaviyo account in a new browser tab or window and checking the integration settings from the Integrations tab. 
Now is the time to finish setting up your Magento 2 settings. In Magento, head back to Stores and select Configuration. Under Clavio, click the Newsletter tab. From the dropdown, choose the Clavio list you want to sync your Magento 2 newsletter signup form to. You also have the option to use Clavio opt-in settings for this list or Magento's opt-in settings. Select Yes if you'd like to use Clavio's double or single opt-in settings, or select No to use the opt-in settings you've set in Magento. Once you're happy with your selections, click Save Config. Let's move on to another key action item, enabling consent at checkout. This allows you to capture email and SMS subscribers as they place orders on your Magento 2 store. That way, you can build relationships with these shoppers over time, turning first-time buyers into long-term brand advocates. To start, click the Consent at Checkout tab. Here, you'll see two sections, one for collecting email consent and one for SMS consent. The two are treated separately so that you can collect just email, just SMS, or both. Under Email, Select Yes for the Subscribe Contacts to Email Marketing at Checkout option. Next, you'll need to select an email list to sync, such as a newsletter list. Once you've chosen a list, type in the email opt-in checkbox text you wish to use or use the default. Sort Order allows you to change the placement of the email and SMS consent boxes if you have changed the layout of your checkout page. Under SMS, Select Yes for Subscribe Contacts to SMS Marketing at Checkout, and choose the list you want your SMS contacts to sync to. Use the default, or enter your own SMS opt-in checkbox text. Don't forget to customize the default SMS disclosure text. Be sure to include links to your company's privacy policy and terms of service. When you are all finished, click Save Config in the upper right to finish the consent at checkbox configuration. Finally, let's configure the extension to enable webhooks. Webhooks pass data between Magento 2 and Clavio. Click on the Webhooks tab. Here you will be prompted to create a webhook secret. A webhook secret is required for consent and validation, as well as to enable webhooks. The secret is a key that Clavio will use for validation and can be anything you choose. That said, we recommend creating a secure string of letters and numbers. Magento will hide your webhook secret with asterisks for security purposes, so be careful to enter it correctly. Create a webhook secret and enter it into the corresponding webhook secret field. If you are using a multi-store integration, the webhook secret in this field should be entered into your default configuration, and the same secret will be used for validation for each store configuration. Next to the webhooks you wish to enable, select Yes from the drop-down options. When you're ready, click Save Config to finish enabling webhooks. Now that you've configured your integration, let's jump back into Clavio to finish integrating your Magento 2 store. Open the integration settings to finish enabling the integration in Clavio. First, you have the option of subscribing new customers to a Clavio list. Click the checkbox to enable subscribe new customers to a Clavio list and select a list from the dropdown. This process syncs all future subscribers. Keep in mind that existing subscribers need to be manually migrated from your Magento list into Clavio. Now, open the Advanced Options dropdown. Enable the following settings if you need them. All Magento 2 stores are synced to Clavio by default. The Stores setting allows you to be selective about which stores you integrate with. Click to get a list of all of your Magento 2 stores and check the box next to the store you want to connect to. We highly recommend enabling special price settings if you're planning to use this feature because it is more difficult to enable this feature later. When configuring your integration settings, you will have the option to pull in special price, which refers to a special sale price for items that can optionally take effect in a certain date range. The custom media root URL setting allows you to change the default path for your site images. 
Enable this setting if you host your product images on a URL that is different than your website. When you're finished with the advanced options, click Update Magento to Settings. Your historical data will begin to sync into Klaviyo in minutes. Klaviyo will sync the last 90 days of your Magento 2 data right away, so you can start engaging your most recent customers. After the sync of your most recent 90 days of data, Klaviyo will begin your complete historical data sync. Depending on how many orders, customers, and products your store has, it can take anywhere from a few minutes to several days to sync all of your data. To keep an eye on the progress of the initial sync, open the Analytics tab in the sidebar and navigate to Metrics. Congratulations! Your Magento 2 integration setup is complete. You can now access key analytics, customer insights, and a ton of new marketing capabilities. The sky's the limit with what you can do from here. So what are you waiting for? Start exploring all that this new integration has to offer today.